Good morning. Well, the cloud has descended and it's sprinkling. But boy, that was a, such a nice warm night last night. It was just so comfortable and my spot was perfectly flat and sandy. And uh, the night was so calm. I, I woke up at some point and saw the new moon setting, or almost new moon, it's a little bit past the new moon. It looks so, you know, lopsided and weird. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to, excuse me, hiking in the rain. So I'm lingering over my coffee. <laughs> uh, my tent keeps me dry though, that's pretty good. So. Today's hike um, is another huge steep climb, but not like yesterday. Um, but God, I feel like I can't breathe from all the hiking yesterday. I, like I still can't catch my breath. So yeah, I'm really out of shape, and I get to do it all over again. <laughs> but um, yeah, so today's hike, I climb up from. I'm gonna go over to Pine Mountain Lodge, and then I'm gonna climb up to the Cedar Creek Trail and uh, go down the other side. And there's a spot on the Cedar Creek Trail where um, you can get a view of all the windmills in the valley in like around Lancaster where the PCT walks through the windmills. And it's so cool when you see them that they look like these monsters and um, you realize, wow, look how close I am to the desert <laughs> and the PCT. Um, but I probably won't see anything because um, it's, you know, it's very uh, almost foggy out there and it sprinkles and then it stops and then it sprinkles and then it stops so. uh, but I may get lucky you never know I don't know how far I'm gonna go today probably another 15 miles just like yesterday <laughs> knowing me I'll just keep wa walking until it's uh, around 5 so we'll see what happens it's pouring Oh my god. Yep, here's the real Haddock campsite. I think this is the spot where Tony and I camped in the snow a long time ago. And uh, it's such a pretty place. Look at all this. Here's how I know <laughs> for sure it's the Haddock campsite. And then uh, it looks like they've done some work because like there was a fire here a few years ago. So like that tree has been cut down and, and that tree has been cut down. So they made it safe. What? Well, sorry, I didn't mean to pan so quickly. They made it safe for camping. So now they've made all these nice, uh, these nice seats. So you can come out here on your horse if your horse doesn't die climbing up these steep hills. <laughs> you can come out, bring a tri-tip sandwich, or bring some tri-tips and make tri-tip sandwiches on the barbecue and sit around these chairs and drink some beers and have some fun. And there's an ammo box over here. I'm kind of wondering what's inside of here. Maybe I'll look inside it. I gotta have my hands to do that. Well, it looks like there's a tarp and some uh, sriracha sauce and a uh, rusty old canister. So there's trash in here too. But hey, tarp and hot sauce to go with your delicious uh, tri-tip that you cook over on the barbecue there <laughs> oh boy okay well it's time to hike and stop uh, puttering around
saw his footprints in the creek. In fact, down here, really, really faint. There's some footprints, some bear prints. <laughs> um, but you know that's hiking here's another little fire ring with broken glass that's that's what it's like to hike in the Los Padres there's uh, more bear prints than human prints and sometimes the bears and are showing you the way when the trail is faint but um, right now I'm on the Piedra Blanca Jean Marshall National Recreation Trail and um, I don't know what the difference between a National Recreation Trail and a National Scenic Trail is, but um, I believe it takes an act of Congress and it's a popular trail. So it gets a, a lot of love and the conditions have been pretty good, a little car washy here and there, but um, you know, it has proper switchbacks. It's not just straight up. And where the fire was, they had tried to make it safe to camp. So um, it's been really pleasant and really beautiful. I'm at Three Mile Camp and it's got a picnic table. This is awesome. So the, uh, the um, Pieter Blanca G. Marshall Trail is part of the Condor Trail. If you are going to hike the Condor Trail and have never been here before, Three Mile Camp has the amenities. <laughs> the picnic table, that's all I really care about. I never use the fire, I just uh, use the picnic table. So the sun's been out for a while, it hasn't rained for a few hours, but I'm completely drenched because all the plants are soaking wet, the feet are soaking wet, and these shoes don't dry very fast. Ugh, it's a car wash. Every time you start feeling a little bit dry, then you go through another car wash and you're soaking wet again. <laughs> uh, these shoes are great because they're wide, although as you can see right here, there wasn't enough room for my toe and I think I'm going to lose my nail there, so I poked a little hole. And, uh, sorry for my finger there. But they're wide and uh, they're cushy. Um, but I, I took the insoles out and I think that's part of why my feet got blisters. And I made some little insoles out of Reflectix. <laughs> and um, they, the bubble wrap and the flight Reflectix completely flattened yesterday. Um, and the little, I made some foam insoles and they flattened also. Destroyed, so I kind of have no insoles. That's all right, though. Uh, I want to take all this plastic off, but <laughs> I think it's just going to continue to be a car wash. I seem to have uh, dropped out of the beautiful forest, and now I'm more in the chaparral. It's been, I guess, slightly downhill to Pine Mountain Lodge, but uh, there have been plenty of steep climbs in between. I think I average about a mile and a half an hour up the hills and if they're steep the same down the hills and maybe two miles an hour otherwise on average. Uh, I seem to be as an old lady now having menopause and all that crap. I seem to be immune to exercise. <laughs> oh well. I'm still out here. I think I'm about halfway through my trip. This is day seven. Mountain Lodge campsite. Oh, I was hoping to take a break here and dry my stuff out, but the uh, clouds have closed in again and I'm not sure it's stopped raining. I think it might start up again soon. Anyway, I'm going to take a little break here and then from here, so from here you have a choice of the Cedar Creek Trail or to continue on the Pieter Blanca Jean Marshall Trail and um, I'm going to take the Cedar Creek Trail, but with having done the Haddock to Pine Mountain Lodge uh, um, section of this trail, that means that I've actually hiked the whole Gene Marshall Trail. I think 
that's the place where people go potty. Um, it's like a 17 mile long trail, but I've never done it like as a through hike because the two ends are so far apart. And uh, when you get to the other end, um, I don't know, it's like you're at a car camp. I guess that would be kind of cool to go and hike to a car camp. And then you could go eat at the Ray's Creek uh, Bar and Grill and uh, get a delicious cheeseburger and a beer. Might be worth it. And then hike back out the other way. <laughs> or you could do the car shuttle thing, but the two ends are really far apart. Anyway, uh, I've completed the Gene Marshall Trail. And actually, this is my, this is where I leave the, um, the uh, Condor Trail. The Condor Trail goes down from here down into um, the Susby Creek area and out at Rose Valley uh, for potential resupply. Although, you know, there's no phone service there. There's nothing there, just a parking lot and a bathroom. But, and then it continues down the Susby Creek and goes by two hot springs, which, you know, I've done a million times. And I've done the Cedar Creek Trail twice now, so this might be my third time. Okay, enough yammering from me.